today's question is, can I give some examples of delusions as they might be seen by mental health counselors in their work and when something rises to the level of delusional? So let's start with what is a delusion? Yeah, I mean, look, he plays a counter-attacking style. You know, Marino has uh, always been that way, but he wins trophies, he wins games, and, you know, he, he's been at the best clubs in the world. He's done it at Chelsea, he's done it at Real Madrid, he's done it at Inter Milan. They're probably one of the best clubs you can ever ever be a manager of, and now we've got him at top. You know, it's it's huge, and, you know, he wins trophies, and this guy is going to come in and change the way this got club him. is. <laughs> So delusion is a fixed false belief that doesn't change in light of conflicting evidence. And I like to think of this as something that happens over time, like this failure to change is something we see over time. So for example, if somebody has a belief that's clearly false and new evidence is introduced, I wouldn't expect their minds to be changed right away. It would take time. Got to talk about, and they, they are banter FC right now. Banter FC. Now, uh, what I will say is, Arsenal, Leicester, uh, West Ham, they're going to be worried because Tottenham Hotspur are back now. They're back with a vengeance with a world class manager at the helm. treatment options. So I went over many examples of delusions, but is there any way to treat delusions? Can somebody be talked out of a delusion? So I've seen strategies like this work, but sometimes they don't work. Sometimes a delusion is so firmly in place that all new information simply makes the delusion stronger. I'm, I'm lost for words. I'm sick and tired of being a Spurs fan. I'm sick and tired <laughs> of supporting this club. I'm sick and tired of getting my hopes up and then getting smashed down again. It's just making Ladies me sick. Gentlemen. It's making me sick watching Got Spurs. It. Tottenham Hotspur are back now. 